Hey there, everybody. I'm going to wait here for just a few minutes for some people to hop in. It's been a while since I've been here. Um, so I'm just going to hang out for a few minutes and... Hello. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday afternoon. So while we're sitting here, um, I think I'll just talk to y'all for a few minutes and just uh, let everyone know that um, I'm Kathy Champion and I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and I'm located here in Gastonia, North Carolina. Uh, but if you have Stamping Up needs, I can take care of you no matter where you live. So we're doing a live today and uh, I've got some exciting announcements to make and as well as a really cute fun little project that you can work on. Uh, we all need fall cards, right? So hopefully... Hey Donna! Well, I, I went live so the notification should have gone. Did you get the email? I'm going to wait just a few minutes and we're going to see if some more people hop in. So I hope everybody's having a good day. I think I'll just talk to you, Donna, since you're the only one that's here so far. Oh, hang on for me just, hey Marlene, hang on just a minute. For some reason my living room television cuts on by itself. Let me go turn it off. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, at least it was just a couple of people in here before I had to jump up and run and go somewhere else. But anyway, so good to see you, Donna, and you, Marlene. It's so, Marlene, I have got to give you a call. We haven't talked in forever. Uh, Great, Donna. I'm glad to see that you did get the, um, the email. And Jennifer should be on, too. I sent it to her as well. Um, there she is. Hey, Jen. So as people start hopping on, um, I've got some announcements to make, and I've got um, I've got a little project in the works that I can't wait to bring to everybody, and it's going to be something besides a card. I have kind of got burnt out with making cards, and I'm ready to um, I'm ready to do something else. So you got an email, Marlene, about the the fact that I was going that I had gone live. I think the emails that Jennifer and Donna was talking about. Jennifer, you're not showing as a moderator. Are you signed into Facebook? You should be. If you're not, I mean, not Facebook, I'm sorry. YouTube. If you're not, go back out and sign in with your Gmail account. And you, you should have a wrench beside your name, uh, just like Don, Donna does. Yes, it has been a while, hasn't it? I'm just going to hang out here with everybody for a few minutes, and oh, it has been a month. It has really been, August was quite a month. <laughs> so we, um, we had, um, let's see if I can tip that down just a hair. We had some deaths in our family. Um, I had several friends who had deaths in their families. And it, August has proved to be a very trying month. Oh yeah, yeah, you got the Facebook notice. Great. I'm glad that you did. At least, at least things are working. I was having difficulty when I first started because for some reason I couldn't get my, my screen to do the transition. And the transition is just where I go from, you know, the craft table scene. Oh, that's not it this one to this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move over to this screen right now since I've got it working <laughs> because we never know when that's going to, you know, cause me some difficulties. Oh, great. Great. Hey, Margie. So maybe some more people will start popping in now that the notifications finally went out. It seems like there's such a delay in, um, 
in the YouTube what I see and what is actually y'all are seeing is probably a 10 maybe even 15 um, second delay so when I say something y'all don't see it or hear it for at least 10 15 20 seconds well, since I've got four or five of you in, Jennifer, did you hear what I said about signing out and coming back in? Oh, you did. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's much better. Yay. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. These are Color Street. I have fallen in love with Color Street. Um, I can have, and, and I've gotten so many compliments on my nails recently. I did the French manicure, uh, what, last week, and, and they last me about 10 days, which is pretty good. So I love it. I can have pretty nails without the aggravation of having to polish them. So I love it. Anyway, um, what would y'all like to hear? Hey, Marsha, how are you? Um, I would, I'm going to try not to look at the chat because I, I'm, I'm one of those people. I can't walk and chew gum. So <laughs> it's better for me to try to stick to one thing at a time. And um, if... I'm going to leave my phone sitting up. I have it on silent, but if there's a question that um, Donna or Jennifer sees that needs answering, text me. I'll hear my phone vibrate and I'll look. So uh, that way we will know if someone has a question for me. All right, I'm, I think I want to do my announcement first. Oh, you got a wedding tomorrow, Margie. You know, I don't mind painting my nails clear, but for some reason, I can always do my left hand because I'm so right-handed that I can't, I can't hold anything in this hand and do anything with it. Um, when I saw May May do the everything left-handed, I thought, oh my gosh, I would have made a mess. I can't even hold, I have difficulty holding a pencil in my left hand. I mean, I can't imagine writing. I just, I just can't imagine. I understand why they write upside down or what feels like it's upside down. Oh, well, congratulations to your grandson, Margie. My grandson got married the end of um, the 31st of July, and we went to Michigan for the wedding. And uh, I rode with Jennifer, and I came back home, and I think my back was out for... Uh, you know you're you know you're old when <laughs> your back goes out more than you do, <laughs> and that's pretty much what happened to me. All right, I think I want to do my announcement. For, uh, maybe I'll wait. Maybe we'll get some more people in. Um, I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. We're going to work with a couple of stamp sets and a couple of dies. The pretty pumpkin. Um, stamp set and the pretty and the detailed pumpkin dies. This is a bundle and you, if you buy both of them together and use the bundle number you can save 10% off of buying the stamps and then later deciding you want to get the the uh, dies. This is such a pretty stamp set and y'all have seen me use this before and I, I can't help myself. I keep going back to it because I love pumpkins. I think nothing screams fall like pumpkins. I'm not so much. Hey, she got that for me. Jennifer got that for me, y'all. I always say that my, my left hand is only good enough to, send, to hand my right hand something to do. And that is so true. Okay, I'm, I'm going to cover you, the chat up so I don't see y'all anymore. <laughs> That's the only way I won't read comments. But um, what, I, what I decided, I pulled out this Encircled in Beauty die set. And this is a two-piece die. So you get... You get these, and then you get these. And I actually use these two. But now, if you cut out with just this one, it has no edge around here to cut it out. So what it does, it will just cut a center in your card if you wanted to put a piece of paper behind it. And, and that's pretty, too. But if you want it to cut the entire piece out, you have to pair it with this and tape that down on your paper and then, and then run it through your dye machine, and then you will get... The, the the full image of what you wanted. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that die and I have pre-cut my pieces so that I wouldn't have to keep y'all here all day. Plus I got that exciting announcement that I can't wait to tell everybody about. Um like I said earlier, I have gotten sick of making cards. I love cards, don't get me wrong. That's like my first love of crafting, but 
sometimes you think I think I have just run my gauntlet on making cards and I want to do something different and that's what my announcement is going to entail. All right, so we're going to use those dies. We're going to use the, the detailed pumpkin dies. We're going to use the pretty pumpkin stamp set and then I, I got this flowers of friendship and we're going to make this a thank you card. But you could make this um, any kind of card you wanted. It could be a birthday card, it could be a thinking of you card, a thank you card, it could be a sympathy card, it could be anything that you want to make it because it's that versatile. It really doesn't say anything in particular except it's a fall card. So I'm going to show you what I have here and I have a card base in basic black and this measures eight and a half by five and a half, so it's a half a sheet of cardstock, and then I scored it at four and one fourth. Ba very basic um, A2 size card. And then I have a blue mat, and this is the balmy blue, and I don't know what it is about that light blue and the black. You know, I need to take this up. I didn't realize with me working with black, it was gonna blend in. So let me move this black mat. A lot of times if I'm working with white, that mat works really well, but I'm going to I'm just going to do it on my table. All right, so we're going to we're going to center this on top of that uh, card base to give us a pretty little mat. And then I cut another piece of black. And this piece measures four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I got a piece of the um, designer series paper from the um, what is it called? Harvest Meadow. And y'all see me use this paper because I think it's beautiful. There isn't a piece of this paper that I don't love. I just, I think it's, I just love it. Um, I can't say enough about it. I loved it so much I bought another pack because I was using it up so fast. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to center this on top of here. Just like that. And then we're going to put this up a little bit to the top of our card. Let me pull it down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Just like that. I love that because it almost looks like you've got... Um, I, I, there's just something about having that background back there. I don't know. It just looks kind of rustic. So what I did is I, I did stamp my pumpkins. And I was going to re-stamp those pumpkins... But y'all seen me stamp them before. Do y'all want me to stamp them and color them? Y'all let me know. If you want me to stamp and color, I will do that. Hey, Naomi. Thank y'all so much for joining in. I just pulled this back so that I could um, I could do this. Oh, okay, Donna. I, I told Jennifer because I, you know, I wanted more than one person. But if Donna is copying the links in, Jen, you're good. You can just hang out and talk to everybody. Alicia, is Alicia here? Where is Alicia? I found your phone number this morning, Alicia. I was looking for, is, is she still here? Alicia, if you're still here, hey, Alicia. I found your phone number this morning and I have been thinking about you because I had not heard from you in a long time. I'm going to give you a call. I don't know if I can do it later on today, but if I don't, definitely the first thing next week. So, I have been worried about you. I hope you've been doing good. So, we got a good little crowd here. I am so happy that we've gotten a few people that's in today. I'm glad to hear that, Alicia. You have been in my heart and in my prayers. I don't know why, but I just uh, had you on my mind and I wanted to reach out to you. So, you'll be getting a call from me next week. How about that? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay. Jennifer's talking to Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer Real. All right, I'm I'm going to try to cover that back up because y'all know I can't um I can't do this and and talk. Do, but do y'all want to do y'all want me to to stamp the pumpkin and color them? Because I've already done it. I've already colored my pumpkins. And if y'all don't want to watch me stamp and color. We'll put these on the card without doing that. The reason I w wanted to get through the card pretty quickly is I can't wait to tell you what I've got in store. Because I'm excited about this project that I want to bring you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you haven't been well. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, well, there was a reason you were on my heart and my mind and in my prayers too, Alicia. Okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to stamp. I'm going to set this off to the side and I'm going to go ahead and put the card together. So what I did is I took, let me show you with these dies what I did. And I used just these ones right here. And what I did is I used the, just this outside to cut this piece out. So I put this down on my balmy blue and I cut this out just like, get it in here right, just like that. And then I took and put this piece over top of the die. Oh, let me get it turned around right. Like this. Just like that. And I turned it over and I cut that out in crumb cake. And look how pretty these two are going to look together. So what we're going to do is we're going to adhere these two together. So you just get them evened up like that. And just like that. And I'm going to use some liquid glue and just uh, glue that down. But now that's going to go on here about like so. And we'll get everything put together after we settle it. Now, I did use the pumpkin. I, I went ahead and stamped out the pumpkins and colored them and die cut them. And then I stamped this flower with the little leaves on it and colored it. And I adhered those together. And I think I just used liquid glue to put those on. I thought that the bottom of the pumpkins just needed some little something. So what we're going to do, we're going to nestle those pumpkins right in that circle. Just like that. Now I took my double, my double oval punch. Margie, here's that punch you wanted. Here is that punch. And this punch is so, it is such a great punch to have in your stash. Uh, I absolutely love, love, love um, working with this punch. Now the the uh, sentiment that I used, like I told you, was thank you for everything because I did make this a thank you card and I stamped it on that designer series paper and as many of you know designer series paper is not quite as heavy as cardstock so I, I actually punched it out in crumb cake as well as the designer series paper because I wanted it to have a little bit of substance to it. So I stamped right on top of my designer series paper. Sometimes I love, love, love the way that looks. When you have a lighter paper and you can stamp dark on it, it just gives a little bit of a wow factor that we don't always see in our card making. So let's go ahead and put this card together. What do y'all say? The first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and adhere this so it can be drying. So I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm just going to put, I'm going to be very, you know, I feel like I ought to get a sponge dauber and do it with a sponge dauber, but I'm going to be brave. And I'm just going to come in here and put a little bit of glue all around these edges and especially through, through the center around here. Now you have to move kind of fast when you're working with liquid glue because it does dry very, very fast. And that's not what we want. So, okay, we'll see if that's enough to hold it. And if it's not, we'll pick, we'll pick it back up. And what I like to do when I'm putting a piece onto another piece, I like to hold it up so I can see. And that just makes it easier for me to wiggle it into place. And then I'm just gonna press that down just like that. And I'm going to set this over here and just let that dry. And now I'm going to start with my um, balmy blue and I'm going to use stamp and seal. The reason I'm going to do that, I think it's just a little bit faster. I love the stamp and seal plus. It took me a little bit to get used to it, but now that I have, I have embraced this stuff like crazy. You just have to remember that it's the action in your wrist that makes it um, let loose and be there ready for your next piece. When you pull it up, what it does, it brings it up to the tip so it's there for your next time, that you, your next use. 
Now I always check to make sure I don't have any hanging around my edges. And then I just want to put this on, and remember this has a very small margin. So just very, very gently put that down. I will advise if you have trouble getting your layer straight, don't start out with seal. Use your liquid glue because you do, you do, you do um, get a little bit of wiggle room with your um, liquid adhesive that you do not get with the stamp and seal or any other type of tape. All right, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to adhere this piece of designer series paper to this black mat. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my stamp and seal. And we are going to go just like this. And like this. And make sure if you're using a pattern paper that has directions that you pay attention and make sure it's going in the right direction. This really doesn't matter, but I say that because if you're using a different paper, it will matter. So now I got that seal down. Now I'm going to put my stamp and seal on the back of this. And I'm just going to use a long piece. I want to make sure this piece stays down really good. And I did go off the edge just a little bit. And when you do that, you just do like you do with, um, with tear and tape or any type of two-sided tape. Just roll it back onto itself so that it's not hanging out. Once you're pleased with that, now I want to put this down, and I'm going a little bit up to the top because I want to have room at the bottom for my sentiment. So I'm going about maybe about a half an inch up to the top. I'm being conscious to, of about a half an inch on each side. I'm not measuring. I'm just eyeballing. I eyeball better than I do anything else. So once you get that done, now you've got this piece. And I like to pick a peak. <laughs> pick a peak. <laughs> That's that, that made me giggle when I said that. But what I want to do is make sure that I've got one of the peaks at the top and one at the bottom. And I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. So let me grab my Stampin' Dimensionals. And I don't, well, yeah, I think I did put those in the link. But um, if I use something that wasn't, that's not in the link, if anybody has questions about what it was, just shoot me an email and I'll be glad to help you. Or you can call me. Never, ever be afraid to call me because um, I'm always glad to hear from y'all. And like I've told you so many times, if I do not answer when you call, it's because I'm either recording a video, I'm on the phone with another customer, or I've just stepped away from my desk for whatever reason. Um, I've been busy trying to do a little bit of um, fall cleaning. Huh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It has been quite a task, but I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. My, my phone buzzed, so let me see if that was one of my girls. Yes, yes, that is a stamping up die, Alicia. This is the die set. It's called Encircled in Beauty. And it comes with two different dies, this one and this one. So you have more options than just a little. You have both of these. Uh, thank you, Jennifer, for buzzing me and asking me that question. Yes, these are definitely stamping up and they're in the annual catalog. There's also a um, stamp set that will coordinate with these that's in the annual catalog, but also one that's in the um, holiday catalog. It's a Christmas one, that, and I can't wait to um, do something with that. So I sure hope you get to feeling better, Alicia, because I have missed seeing you, and I just knew something was up. You know, when you don't see your regular people, you always get a little bit concerned about how people are doing because, I mean, let's face it, COVID has come back with a vengeance. Um, we're not going out without our mask, even though we're fully immunized. Um, I've had some days where I've been under the weather myself, and um, Jennifer is taking Autumn this afternoon to be tested. She just has some mild cold-like symptoms, but, you know... 
these days you cannot be too um careful so y'all keep y'all keep my grandbaby in your prayers because um when jennifer told me that this morning i was like oh no but we're believing praying and believing that she just has sniffles and nothing more but you know for peace of mind when kids are going to school and she is in kindergarten this year and she just started a couple of weeks ago so and jennifer knows the drill as soon as you get out of the doctor's office you call me <laughs> because i got to know about my baby she, as, as Autumn would tell me, she's not a baby. She's a big girl, but she's still my baby because she's my baby granddaughter. All right, I'm going to nestle this right in that circle. And you can put it up high or low, however you want it. I want to put it up so that I can see that beautiful lattice work around that um, circle because I just absolutely love, 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 love those dyes. They are gorgeous. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use some liquid glue and I'm going to put glue on the back of this, my little sentiment, and I've already stamped it like I told you. And I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of glue on the back of that. And again, because I am trying to center up and get it even, I'm going to hold it up like that and wiggle it until I get it just right. And then I'm going to press that down. And I want to pop this up too. Okay, I got other texts coming in, but they're nothing that I need to be concerned about. Oh, and I, like I said, I just, oh, I'm so excited. I want to hurry and get the card done so that I can tell y'all about my, my adventure. I had been, this is something I've been thinking about for a while. Everybody loves um, albums, but most people don't want to tackle them because they feel like they're too hard. Well, I'm here to tell you that I have a, a simplified way to bind an album. And I, I'm going to line this up right on that black so it's like right on that line. And I want it over to the right just a little bit more. Just like that. Now, like I said, you know, this would be a beautiful card for a fall birthday. Um, you could use this card for anything. I'm not going to put an inside in it because I'm not sure what I want to do with this card yet. Um, I do have all of my thank you cards and everything ready for all of you that had uh, made a purchase for me during the month of August. They will be going out today. And um, so there will be a little, a little thank you gift in there from me. So um, be on the lookout for that. So what do y'all think? Would you think this card turned out pretty? Oh, um, Alicia, do they live in, uh, your, your son and his wife, do they live in New Mexico? Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Thank y'all so much. Um, yeah, the COVID has, we, we lost, um, he, he was a brother-in-law to me. It was actually my first husband's sister's uh, husband but we lost him to covid um uh la last week and uh there's there and it seemed like there was just one death right behind the other and it has just been that's exactly what i'm going to do alicia this is going to be a recipe album and uh, let me let me pull out i, I can't wait we're, we're done with this card it is a cute little card and i hope y'all enjoyed that and and those dies are to die for uh, you can bundle those with the bundle and also get the extra stamp set that goes with them for the Christmas. And I'll, and I'll try to remember to bring that out and show you. But I want to bring out my catalog because I want to show you what I'm going to do. I got this entire gingerbread and peppermint suite. And it sounds like a lot of money for this suite, but you get a stamp set two die sets, a pack of ephemera, a, a set of envelopes and card bases, a huge roll of ribbon. 
you get these little trinkets that are made out of acrylic that you can put on your cards. You get a six by six pack of craft paper. You get a four set of stencils that are beautiful Christmas designs. And you get the um, uh, gingerbread and peppermint uh, designer series paper. I cannot wait. I am going to make a Christmas cookie album out of this. Hey Brenda, so glad you could make it. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Naomi. I'm glad you like my card. Thank y'all so much. What I want to do is anybody that wants to craft along with me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's going to be a cute album. And the good thing is you can make this album anything you want to make it. But it's going to be hardbound. And I want to tell you, I w I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to wait and do it the third week in October. That will give us time enough to finish the album. It's probably going to be a three-part, at least a three-part, maybe four-part series. But I'm going to take it very slow, step by step, and teach you how to do a hardbound album. <laughs> I know you're loving this, Alicia. I am so glad. Hey, Brenda, how are you and your family doing? I hope everybody's doing well over on your end. So, Well, I hope you enjoy your time in um, um, New Mexico. You're going to be there next week. I don't know if I have your home number or your cell number. You'll have to let me know because I would love to call you and, and talk to you. Yes, October is your birthday month. It's also Marsha's birthday month. Um, I got a lot of October people. Anyway, this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful project, and I am so excited. I can't hardly stand myself. So I'm thinking the third week in October, and I will give y'all more um, insight on this and what you're going to need. But if you want to craft this along with me, you can go to my uh, online store, and you can pick up any of these supplies. And you don't have to get them all. You don't have to buy the suite. Hey, Brian, how are you? You can very, very easily... Um, just pick out what you want. Maybe you don't want the pillow box dies. You don't have to get those. Maybe you don't want the cards and the envelopes, but maybe you do want the ribbon. You might not want the stencils. Buy what you want. But if you get the stamps and these dies right here, you can bundle those and save 10%. I would, I would advise anybody to bundle your dies and your stamps because Saving that 10%, 10% doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, that's like your shipping. The 10% is like getting free shipping. So, um, I can't wait to make this and work with this. The paper is gorgeous. Let me show y'all the paper. Let me show you the ephemera. Here's the stamp set. And I put my ephemera, because I took it out of the package. Look at this. This looks like a little cooling grate for your cookies to cool on. How stinking cute is that? And this right here are little um, cards that you can use. You could use these for like photo mats. You've got several made with love. I fell in love with this. It's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. Uh, look at that. That just screams a gingerbread man and some, for some reason. And it says this one, memories in the making. You know, if you made cookies with your daughter or your granddaughter, uh, if you had your grandkids in the kitchen while you're making cookies and they're licking the bowl, uh, this would be a great place to put their pictures in this little cookie album. These are stickers. These are actually peel-off stickers that we can use. Love it, love it, love it. Well, you get two, three of those, two, no, two of those. And then you've got these cute little um, punch-outs. These punch out... And there's several of these, and, they, and they've got sticky on the back. So when you pull them up, it's, it's just like ephemera. And then look at these. You have recipe cards in here. I mean, absolutely stinking cute. And then you have these recipe cards. When I saw this pack, it just screamed um, a Christmas recipe album. And you could do it for cookies. Look at that. Wishing you a sweet Christmas. 
I love baking at Christmas. Uh, Jennifer knows how much I love to bake and how I make, um, um, yeah, Je I, both of my daughters are born September 30th, so I've got two birthdays, well actually I got three birthdays this month because my grandson's the 23rd, so I've got lots of birthdays. Okay, um, uh, okay, that is the ephemera, and this one is, it's not called ephemera, it's called Gingerbread and Peppermint Memories and More Card Pack. So, and you can find that in this mini catalog, and if you have not gotten a catalog, and you want one, and you're planning on uh, ordering, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be more than glad to get you a catalog. Um, this is the paper, the gingerbread and peppermint paper, and I'm going to go through and see if I can pull off. Okay, the, it, I got it already sorted. So, that's the front, and this is the back. There's the front. And the back, the front, and the back, and then the front, and the back. So you've got some other designs in here to do other things with. Look at that. I, I don't know what it is, but I love that pattern. Look at these Christmas trees, and your dies will cut these out. The dies that cut... No, wait, I'm sorry. I told a fib. I am so sorry. doesn't cut the trees out. It cuts these out. The, you have the dies that will cut these out. These dies right here, the gin gingerbread dies, will cut these bells. And there's one of the, with the snowflakes that it will cut out too. There it is, the snowflakes. But these are so easy to fussy cut. They would be very simple to fussy cut. Or if you've got a scan and cut, um, it would be a, a easy way to cut it that way. If any of you didn't see my post on my Facebook page on the... Um, Random Acts of Stamping, and if you have not, if you have not um, joined that Facebook group, please go over there. Um, Donna or Jennifer One can drop that link in for me. Everything, everything, Stamping Up will be posted in that Facebook group. Any announcements, any new products, anything that comes up that y'all need to know about, it will be there. Here is the pillow box dies, and this, oh my goodness, this is so cute. I, I did do one, but I didn't, I, all I done was put it together. This is what that little pillow box looks like. Can you see decorating those and putting treats in it for the grandkids? These would be cute tied with ribbon and put people's names on them and put it beside a plate as a, a table setting or a name card and put some peppermints in it. Everybody loves peppermint, especially Christmas. So here's your stencils. Look at these stencils. Oh, I'm, in, I'm doing good. I was thinking it was after two. I got that card done so fast that I was able to go over and be able to show y'all all of this. These stencils are gorgeous. Look at that. I need a solid place to show it to you. Let me grab a piece of cardstock so you can see just how pretty those stencils are. Isn't that pretty? But yeah, everything, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what colors I'm going to make this album. I'm thinking I'm going to do the outside of it red because for me, Christmas is red. And I love red. It's one of my favorite colors. Uh, look at these snowflakes. Oh my word. Aren't they gorgeous? Can you see putting that down on a piece of white cardstock and doing it with a light balmy blue? Oh my word. So pretty. And then this looks like a present wrapping. Isn't that gorgeous? So I can't wait to play with these. Uh, I, like I said, I've been kind of holding back on even showing this um, because I just I just couldn't help myself. Now here is the here's the cards, and this is called the Gingerbread and Peppermint Memories and More Cards and Envelopes, and they're big. These are bigger than the standard envelope. Um, these measure six and a half and fold that under six and a half by four and a half so these are actually the size of a recipe card and the cards are equally and I will probably be using some of these cards for recipe cards because I mean why not why not look how pretty they are and I think they would make beautiful recipe cards. So that's another idea that um, you might want to do. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be uh, cutting up some of these envelopes as well because it, they're just, they're too pretty. 
And you know, if I need another pack of these, I can always get those because we have until the end of December with our mini catalog. So if I s decide I want to make Christmas cards out of those, I can do that. I think that's a huge um, pack of, of stuff for the price. Yes, if you want the whole thing, it's $143.50, but nothing says you have to buy the entire thing. You can get just a little bit, you know, what you feel like you need. But I would love for as many of you, and even if you don't buy the suite, you're welcome to come and, and craft with me when I, as I'm doing this project. I can't wait to get to work on it. I'm going to actually, I've been working on uh, the album, and I've got it set up where it's going to be so easy. If you've never made an album, I'm here to tell you I am going to make sure that this is so easy and you'll be able to um, to conquer this with just a little bit of finesse and the good thing my YouTube um, video will be up you can go back and watch it as many times as you want if you want to come and just watch when it first goes up and then you want to go back and watch it in pieces and and do it slowly that is fine too you'll have so much fun before I go Let's see. I need, you know what? I need something to give away today. What am I going to give away today? I had that roll of ribbon that I said I was going to give away the other day, and I do need to do that. This is a beautiful roll of Christmas ribbon that I wanted to give away. But let me, I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, but with Stampin' Up. But I want to give something away. Let me go look in my, my bin and see what I can find. I'll be right back. I'm just going right behind the computer. And... I'm going to give away a stamp and pierce mat. Everybody needs one of these. These things are the bomb diggity. Uh, if you're using any photopolymer stamps, you will be amazed at what having this extra cushion underneath. It's so funny because before I started with Stampin' Up, I was using an old mouse pad. Y'all remember that ugly old mouse pad that I used to use? <laughs> it was it it was ugly but you know what it worked it wasn't as good as this because this is so much thicker look how thick that is you see how thick that is that's probably a quarter inch a little bit over a quarter I would say almost three-eighths of an inch that is really a nice thick um, mat to stamp on and y'all see me use mine all the time uh, I need to get another one because if you're doing piercing, I only use this for stamping. I would suggest if you do piercing to have a separate one for that. And and they're they're pretty economical, so it's a great way to have that. So what I'm going to do, everybody that leaves me a comment about, let me know. This is what I want you to do. After this video is over, if you will go back to the to the video, and it will take about 15 minutes for it to actually show up. Um, what I want you to do is go in and just give me an idea of what you think about the uh, Christmas recipe album. <laughs> you love my bomb diggity? <laughs> oh, thank you, Marlene. I have, you know, my husband says that I have Kathyisms. He always tells me, he says, nobody says things like you say them. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but anyway. Um, I have had so much fun. I cannot begin to tell y'all how much I've missed you. And uh, thank you, Jennifer, for encouraging me, encouraging me um, to do a live. I had kind of gotten out of the sink of it, but they are fun. And I so enjoy uh, being here with everybody and, you know, just spending some time with y'all because I love y'all so much. I'm going to transition this back over to just me and transition. There we go. Um, I also wanted to tell you, um, I bought some jewelry from Paparazzi. And any of y'all that know Asia, and I think most of you do, 
Um, I got this. The earrings wasn't the earrings that came with this, but I always say I got, you know, short hair and a big head, so I need big earrings. So I always wear hoops or something <laughs> that's just a little bigger. But I love this necklace. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I, I'm pretty sure that the... Let's see if I can hold up a little piece of blue cardstock behind it. Look at that. Uh, and in my in the video that I um, posted where she sent me that beautiful album that she made, oh my goodness, I, po I posted her paparazzi shop. So, you know, it's good for us to support each other. So if you're in the market for some nice costume jewelry at a very uh, economical price, I mean, you can, most of her pieces are earrings and a necklace for five bucks. I mean, you know, some of us throw five dollars away on a cup of coffee. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't. I used to, but I got a little more frugal in my old age, and I thought, mm-mm. <sighs> yes, Jennifer, sometimes daughters know best. Rub it in. <laughs> but anyway, um, I try to support other people's businesses, and, and I just thank all of you for supporting mine. I have such a great group of people here. Y'all are a blessing to me. And uh, I hope that I didn't miss saying hi to everybody. Taz, I saw you. Um, I, I don't know if I missed anybody. If I did, I apologize. But um, Brian, um, Taz, Alicia, Marlene, Margie, um, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer Real and Jennifer Toller, um, all of you mean so much to me. Um, Marsha. Oh my goodness, Marsha, we got to talk, honey. <laughs> I haven't talked to Marsha in a long time either. But um, I hope she was able to stick around. I know that sh she stays pretty busy, so uh, she's not always able to do that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Starbucks is worth five bucks, but oh well. Um, I've, gotten a, I've got a Ninja coffee bar, and I can pretty much make my own Starbucks coffee right in my own kitchen, and a lot cheaper, so... <laughs> But anyway, I just thank all of you so much for um, tuning in. But before we go, what I, w what I was telling you, I want you to, um, to be in the drawing for this um, Stampin' Pierce mat. After the video is over, go over and make a comment. It has to be a comment about what you think and what you would like to see in this Christmas recipe album that we're going to do in October. I'm going to bring... Um, I'm going to bring a list. I might even do a short video showing the items that I'm going to be using and, and a list of the supplies. So if you want to wait and, and get that, please feel free to do so. Um, and then, like I said, you do not, um, you do not have to um, use what I use. If you want to bring your own paper, your own um, uh, theme, be sure to do that. Yes, Marlene, thank you. Thank you so much, Donna and Jennifer, for being here and moderating for me. It's always a pleasure. And if any of you other people that are here on a regular basis would like to moderate, I do something a little different than what most people do. I send an email to you with all the links. Um, every item that I use, everything that they put up, all they had to do was copy and paste. So it's not a hard job to do. Uh, and I'll be more than glad to send that out. If anybody is interested in moderating for me, I would certainly appreciate it. I've kind of put that out before, but... Um, oh, thank you. I, yes, Alicia, you're right. We feel like family. You know, we get together and we, we talk, we craft, we laugh. Sometimes we cry. But... Um, we're all here for each other, and I just, I love all of you so, so much. Um, I want to give this ribbon away, but I didn't pull the names that I needed to. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in and pull my names from last time. Let's see if we can do that. I'll pull my names up from last time, and we'll just choose a winner. Random name picker. Um, home. Settings. Nope. Let's see if I can get this to to work for me. Okay, we've got Elise, Carmina, Connie, Jennifer, Marlene. I'm going to put in the rest of y'all's names. So let me go back. Let's see if 
going to let me add the names. Marsha, Margie, Jennifer, Connie. Let's see, Taz. I need to add Taz. Let's see if it'll let me add. No, it won't let me go back and add. So let's, let's tell you what. Let's do this. Let's choose names. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's close that one out. We're going to make a new group. You know what? This isn't working. <laughs> this is not working for me. They've updated this or done something to it, and it's just not working. Edit. I'm not going to put... Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Jennifer just reminded me. Don't put me in. <laughs> We're good, Jennifer. Add or edit names. Okay, i got Alicia, Carmina, Connie, Je Jennifer Real, Margie Ryan, um, Marsha Freeman... Let's put, let's put Marlene. I'm not even going to put last names because um, we, know, we know who you are. Let's see, who else? Let's say Taz. I'm just going to put Taz, T-A-Z. Taz, if I pick you, you may have to um, email me your mailing address. And that's if you win. Um, Okay, who else? Is there anybody else in here that I missed? If it's somebody else that's not here, Brian. Okay, let's put in Brian Dickey. I'm just going to put your put your name as Brian. So now we have Alicia, Brian, Carmina, Connie, Jennifer Real, Margie Ryan, Marlene Watts, Marsha Friedman, and Taz. Is there anybody else hanging out there that needs to be in here? Did I have Alicia? Yeah, we got Alicia. Okay, I'm looking to see if anybody else showed up today. Brenda, Brenda Hightower. So let's put in Brenda. Okay. Just trying to make sure I don't leave anybody out because I wouldn't want to leave anybody out for nothing. So let's make sure... Donna. We don't have Donna. Oh, Carmina doesn't want to be in. Okay, so we've got people that don't want to be in. Is that right? Carmina? How come, Carmina? Oh, yeah, Naomi. Um, let's put Naomi in. Now, some of these... Donna, did you choose to opt out? Oh, I don't think I spelt Naomi right. Okay, you do want to be in, Carmina. And Donna wants to be in. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Jen. <laughs> she's tired. She is. She's getting me all messed up. Naomi. All right, so we got Naomi and Donna. I didn't get Donna in, so let's go back and put Donna in. I'm just going to put Donna since we know who Donna is. And, okay, so I'm going to read these names off and y'all let me know. I got, I got Carmina in, okay. I got Alicia, Brenda, Brian, Carmina, Connie, Donna, Jennifer Real, Margie Ryan, Skip Donna. <laughs> Y'all are... Hi. Okay, Donna, I got gotcha. All right, let me see if I can take you out. Nope, it's not going to let me take you out. All right, if I pick you, I'll just pick somebody else. 
All right, I think we got everybody in here now. I think we do. Jennifer Real, Margie Ryan, Marlene Watts, Marsha Freeman. Okay, Jen, I got it. If I pick Donna, I'll just pick somebody else. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and choose a winner. So, I'm going to switch this back over to my craft table view. And here we go. Jennifer Real. Jennifer Real is my winner. So, Jennifer, you are going to get this beautiful red ribbon. It's beautiful red and white ribbon. You'll get that. And the person for this will be the one that leaves me a comment. And I will pick those people and put those names in my random picker for, next, uh, for the next live. So, I'm going to put a sticker on here. And I'm going to try my best. We're going to come live again next Friday. How does that sound? Sounds like we get... Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I mean, her name was in there, but if I had picked her, I would have taken her out. So, um, this is for Jennifer. Real. Alrighty. I love giving stuff away. I just wish I could give bigger and better gifts. And as my business grows, I will definitely be able to do that. Congratulations, Jennifer Real. All right, so make sure y'all leave me a comment after the video's over. Go back, give me about 15 or 20 minutes to get everything uploaded and where it needs to be. And go back in and leave me a comment about the, um, about the Christmas recipe book with the gingerbread and peppermint um, sweet. So I can't wait to start this and we're going to have so much fun. So, I hope everybody had fun. I did. And as I always say in closing, and I always will, I always give my Lord and my Savior the honor and the praise that He is so justly due. Because without Him, I would be nothing. So, remember this. When you speak, when you act, you know, when you get angry in traffic, think about this. Let everything that you say and do bring glory to our Lord and Savior. He is worthy. God is so worthy of our honor, our praise, and our life. So I hope that you have a very blessed um, holiday weekend. Everybody be safe, happy, and until we craft again, God bless and keep you. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.